In Element 3D, you can easily create 3D text. In order to do that, let's use our text tool right here in After Effects. So I'm going to go for Text Tool and you can choose any font you want. In my case, I'm going to choose Mid Pro Condensed. All right. So once I do that, I'm going to go and type over here and I'm simply going to say uh, this is going to be Twitter Tube right there. All right. So the text is in red does not really matter, but I'm going to change it into white anyways. All right, just like that. All right, there you go. So the text is here. I'm going to increase the font size. So I'm going to say something like, all right, so let me just click and drag this out and let it be something like 175. All right, so I'm going to go to my move to move it to the side. All right, there you go. So now what I'm going to do is convert this text into 3D. In order to do that, I'm going to go on to my element 3D layer right here. And over here, you'll be able to uh, go to scene setup and extrude this text. But before we do that, I'm going to say that uh, I'm going to link this layer on to the element 3D plugin. In order to do that, I'm going to go on to the custom layer section right here. And here you can see custom text and masks. So I'm going to go over to the custom text and masks and you can see that the path layer right now is selected to none. So I'm going to go over here and just select the tutor tube layer as you can see. So I have two layers that I can see over here as well. So I'm going to choose tutor tube right here. So now that path has been linked. Now what I can simply do is I can go to scene setup and extrude the text. So this is my scene setup right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click extrude. And once you do that, you can see that the 3D text appears just like that. All right, there you go. There's the 3D text that I was working with just like that. So you can see that there are various options. You can work with this so you can increase the bubble as you can see. So you can increase the bubble scale. So it's a bit more wider. You can even expand the paths or decrease it to have a more slight look. So you can increase and decrease this out right here and so forth. So you can play around with the option right here. Uh, you can also go over here into preset. So I got my physical shader right here. So I'm going to simply, simply click and drag and there you go. That's the 3D text. And I even got my texture right here. So I can go for paint thread. So that's the red text. You can go for green light. You can go for gold and so forth. And you can see that immediately the 3D text comes to life. You can also Try different pro shaders right here. So it gives an interesting look to it. Metal dirty and so forth. All right. So instant 3D text right there. Uh, besides this, you can also go for the bevel presets. And inside of bevel presets, there are a lot of text preset as you can see. So you can simply click and drag this and you can see that there's a double layer text right there. And it looks awesome. So you can click this. This is more of like a gold. And this one is more like of like an empty one. And you can go over here with the bubble and so forth. And there are different uh, materials as you can see. You can also work with the individual individual materials right here. And then go to the pro shaders. I'm going to go into this is something like uh, like the gold scratches. I'm going to drag this in and you can see that now those are the gold scratches and you can replace the other ones as well with a different texture and this one with a different texture. And there you go. You got a completely new look of 3D texture right here. So in the gold scratches, you can also work with UV and everything else um, as we worked with the previous lessons inside the VUB and so forth. And that is how you can easily create 3D text. And once you press OK, uh, it actually comes up in the After Effects composition. So it is loading up and you can see that the uh, tube, um, tube 3D text is there. But this one should be there as a reference because once you type in something like tube just like that it actually updates the 3d model itself so you have to keep it as a reference i'm just gonna hide this out and the 3d layer is there so i'm going to use my camera right here press ok and i'm going to use my unified camera tool to look around the object right here so i can also zoom it in you can see that this is my 3d object right there all right there you go 
So that is how you can create 3D text inside of um, Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.